Yeah, y'all. Listen, I seen a receipt tonight. Appreciate the IQ Center. Somebody at the grocery store. EBT card. This is no lie. They spent $7 and about 55 cents. Guess what the balance was on the EBT card? How much? 15000 and some dollars. I had a receipt. They spent $7 and like 66 cents. It said the balance on their card was 15000 and some dollars. I said, what? They getting these bastards that kind of money? On an EBT card? Listen, I've seen some other receipts I've been shown. Some of these things like $11,000 EBT card. You can pay rents and mortgages and cardinals with this stuff. Man, you about to lose it. <laughs> 15000 That's what we spent on a feast for eight days. 15000 something. And you only spent $7? You know they're selling this stuff. Again, the government, they do it for a reason, though. See, they got a bigger program than what y'all got. They know what they're doing. Don't, don't, nobody, nobody manipulating the system. They're giving those cards because they know what they're going to do with those cards. They're going to start living in their card. You figure it's easy to go and sell off for a couple of hundred dollars and make a lot of money every month. Then when they cut that card and shut you off, then you're going to have to do something that's going to make you criminal. They're going to get you. A lot of y'all play. I know some of y'all in here, y'all play with them cards. I tell you, get out of these people's system. If you don't need it, don't take it. Y'all got me? They owe it to us anyway, but don't let these people ever trap you into you becoming, um, you becoming where you come induced and you start using that card as a way of life. These people are going to trap you. When they cut it off, what you going to do? Your survival skill gone. It's the same thing they do when they put an animal in the zoo. Anytime you take an animal and you feed him, you're going to take away some of his predatory um, instinct. They've already practiced. Why do you think they put you in prison? They put you in the other places. Most people, when they put them in prison for a long period of time, they let them out. What do they do? They go back to incarceration. Anything they keep and they keep it and they, and they imprison it and they feed it and they train it and they pet it and stroke it and medicate it, it's going to stay in their possession. When you take something like you, I'm trying to train y'all to learn how to live in the wild. Every day I look at it like this when I hit the street. That's the jungle for me. Y'all hear me? You got to consider yourself to be an apex predator, meaning something's always trying to hunt you and you're on the hunt. You hear me? In the jungle, out there in the safari, out there where, out, where the, in the animal kingdom, that's just a way of life. You either get took or you taken. Listen, listen, nobody, listen, nothing stops. If you go out here right now and you get murdered, raped, killed, in prison, shot, crippled, fall out, heart attack, stroke, guess what the world keep doing? I seen in the animal kingdom where one of the top female hunters, she went down. She was injured. The pride waited, looked at her for a while. They had to keep moving. You know what happened? Somebody that moved to the top of the ranks. That's the animal kingdom. That's how it worked. That's how it worked out here. But how they get you is they oppress your mind and make you think that they're helping you by giving you something they're actually crippling you. And those people who got those $15,000 cards, these, these cards, they start living. Just like a lot of y'all have done, lived out those cards, then they cut them. They'll come in and give you $800, $1,000 a month. they say, well, we're going to cut it down to three hundred. dollars How I'm going to live? How I'm going to survive? Like normal people do. They get you fat, get you sloppy, they get you lazy. They get you where you stop becoming self-sufficient. And you depend on these people. Next thing you know, you have nothing. I got a lot of my kids in the same way. They ain't got no survival skill. If nobody don't give you or hand you nothing, you ain't going to make it. I'm on the tape. I'm an apex predator. I'm on the tape every day. I'm on the tape. Every day I'm hunting. Every day I got to survive. That's how I survive. Every day. Nobody going to give me. Nobody going to walk and just give me. Now I got to take it. The system is not designed to give me nothing. The system is designed to take for me, trip me up, catch me, so they can put me on display to their friends. That's how they make money off me. They want to show me off to their friends, put me in prisons, bring, bring um, cameras in, and let them do documentaries and show me off to their other friends. Huh? Use me as a deterrent to their kids or make their kids hate me. That's what they do when they put me in the jungle. Put, years ago, they would take them to the circle. They'd take a lion, put him in there, and let the man with the chair and the whip, ha, ah, get back. Wow, ferocious be wrong. This I'm running like, what you doing, nigga? You trying to hit me. Of course I'm going to kick up. I'm going to show you my thing because this is what I use to protect myself. 
But to the crowd, he loved this ferocious, crazy lion, this man eater, killer lion, when he's been taken and been put in the cave to be displayed to the people. And then he make this white man with his chair and the whip look like this so great victor. Put that chair and that whip down, nigga. That man, you, you, what we got. Put that chair and that whip down. This will be real easy. Unlock that cage, nigga. Nobody don't think like that. We sit around, who will you to cheer for? The great white man with the chair and the done whip. Huh? See how they program your mind and make you hate something that's in prison? When they show you them prison shows, them prison documents, these are all our hardened criminals. Look closely at these people. These people in our maximum security. These are some of our worst people who done some of the most heinous crime known to man. Then the person that walking and explaining to you looks like the great gatekeeper. Look like the hero that's keeping these people in, that's keeping, your, keeping these people away from you. But actually, that person that's walking, that's doing the illustrating of the narrating, the person that's making a fool out of you. You know how I many people sit in these prisons that's innocent? Doing them more than what they got that's guilty. You know how many people had actually been afforded what they call their due process? If a man truly is innocent until proven guilty, why is he incarcerated? How many of y'all are here innocent? Why are you not in jail? So you prove your innocence. Everything is at these people's discretion. These people make prison. They make criminals. Anytime you take a person, you put them in an impoverished neighborhood, you put these people, you indigenize them, you teach them lies, you, you, um, you, 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 you lamely educate them, huh? then you give them shots, you give them a poor diet. What do you, expect, what do you think the decision making is going to be? They teach you that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I grew up without breakfast. Mom didn't have time. You get that and let the school feed you. So they put you in the hands of more people that poison. They give you these high fructose corn syrup cereal in the morning. Who give you some fat cow dairy milk that they made up. Huh? Give you some hyper fruits to go with it. Then sit you in the classroom and then socially promote you and teach you. Tell one kid, you know what? You actually smarter than him. Come here, I'm going to move your desk. Now, he feels like he's better than him. I'm already using a Willie List syndrome on the same fool. How they in the same class and he's smarter than him? They got the same word. Now, I, now I've inherited put something in his mind to make him think he's dumber than him. When they both in the same class. Niggas sit in the jungle, and we sit here in the same project. I hate you, you poor nigga. I'm going to go in my apartment two doors up from him. That poor nigga make me sick. And he got roaches. I'm two doors from him in this high ride. I guarantee that I got roaches too. Yep. They teach people to kill each other. You're putting all these people in one place. What do you think they're going to do? Survival mode is going to kick in. When they don't have any other way, any other resources, even the animal kingdom, animals will eat their own. When it comes down to it, when there's nothing else to eat. When we're on the brink of extinction. What do you think? That's what they do with you when they show you the news. They're telling you there's no jobs. Such and such companies laying out 5,500. Another country laying out 10,000. Another whole corporation is getting ready to move overseas. Then somebody else is getting ready to come in, which means more, more and more jobs are going to be taken away from him. Now, what are you going to do with the survival skill? That means I got to take. It's easy to take from the people that's right here with me than it is to go across stream and go and take from other people. Y'all all right? Right behind the Washington, D.C., they got the projects. Go and find how many of them niggas lead the project to go there in white, in white neighborhood to go rob, take, and kill. It's easy to take right here. The system's set up for you to rob and take right there. They cage them in to take from each other right here. Huh? And anybody that come near here that look like them, they kill. They ain't going to kill the white man. They already know they're going to bring too much news media. They're going to bring the folks over here. Going to put too much pressure on us. So I try to come along and try to wake our mind up from this bad stereotype that they don't give us to hate each other, destroy each other, take each other down. Stop selling for stuff. Stop waiting on somebody to give you something. Learn how to become self-sufficient. We have to learn how to take care and provide for our own. You hear me? When you get up in the morning, you got to decide for yourself, are you predator or are you prey? Okay. One thing an eagle ain't, mad, ain't worried about, he ain't worried about no nigga snatching him out of the air. Okay. You either predator or prey every day. Which one are you? Every day I get up, I make my mind up, I'm predator. Y'all with me? Yes, sir. Amen. 
How is she going to survive? Pray got to scramble. Pray got to get out and run and hide. Pray urinate all over itself in fear. The whole time is moving. Pray to move, I'm always on the hunt. I'm always looking. Y'all got me? What y'all going to do? Break this bad stigma these people done gave you. You know the enemy out there, so you know how you got to tread. You know how you got to move. It's not going to change who I am. Y'all got me? You know how to transform the cat. Just like a, listen, a crop got the ability to change and look just like a log. Till you flow right up on your behind and then you get snapped. Huh? A tiger, lion, they know how to blend right into the landscaping. They know how to pounce in just in a moment, in a couple of seconds, inch up on a nigga and got him. Now, what are you going to do? Are you going to be the person who get caught and get taken down, or are you going to be the person doing the hunting? Huh? Our book told, he taught us how to hunt. Now, which one are you, predator or prey? Tell the truth, pray. Pray can't wait to be taken. It takes something to pray. I got people here, they can't wait for something to happen. Well, they with the word, they can't wait to go and mess up and get put out. So then, the pressure off of them. Huh? You know what a predator don't have? A refrigerator, a stove, or a deep freezer. A predator already knows that attack. Every attack can cost them their life. But they do it because they're part of survival. Huh? And when I kill, I'll kill again. That's how I keep living. Y'all got me? Now, which one y'all going to do? You going to sit here and wait on that man to carry? I was just talking to Beast about that, about being a man. A man is a predator. He ain't got no business being no prey. Y'all got me. We on the take. You've been made in the image of. You've been given to be like. That makes no sense. Nobody gives Allahim nothing. Allahim is predator, not prey. He gave himself a prey for us that we can be cleansed. And we can be changed and we can mortify our members, but make no mistake, he is a predator. He clearly told you that no man take my life. I have to lay it down. I'm a predator. Ain't no way in the world nothing less than me can take me. He had to put himself in a situation just like you. Why are you constantly always being attacked by the devil? Why are you always constantly getting taken down by your other adversaries? Because you make yourself pray. 